Okay, namaste again. Uh, so I want to uh, touch upon the process of Amanaska Yoga and lay it out on the table in front of you so that you understand uh, the road ahead and what are the milestones on that road. So first we have to listen to uh, an aphorism or a principle from the teachings of the world teacher and in the Hindu world this is called Sutra. A Sutra means a string or a thread on which many pearls or many beads can be strung. Now what is the meaning of this? The meaning is that if you have that string uh, or that sutra, then that same one single sutra that will be able to, uh, that will make itself amenable to application in hundreds of life circumstances in your life and in the life of all the other people and those events and circumstances are represented by the various beads which are strung on that thread or on that sutra. So first we begin with one sutra from the teaching and the first stage is very easily said namely we have to listen to the truth. Now <laughs> this is much harder than what we take it to be because the moment you listen to something, then immediately the act, the overactive mind begins with its own interpretation, with its own commentary, so that you actually don't listen to the enunciated principle or aphorism or sutra. Hmm? So we have got to uh, bring here uh, more than usual attention in the process of listening, so that no distracting thought and no desire even to understand that sutra gets in the way between the sutra laid out before you and your system which is supposed to be open to it and which is supposed to absorb it. Hmm? So the first is to listen. Uh, the second is after you listened and you got the sense of the whole thing, you contemplate on it, you think about it. As I said, you have come here from a certain cultural matrix, you have come here with a certain religious matrix and we can't entirely put it aside, the socio-cultural matrix on the one hand, the religious matrix on the other hand and all the knowledge systems to which you have been exposed, maybe mathematics, medicine and so on and all of them will start working and you will understand that enunciated a principle or sutra from the teachings in your own way as you think about it, as you go around it, as you look at it from many different directions, then you will get a certain insight and you will say, yes, now I got it. Hmm? Now that's the second uh, part of the whole process. The second part is thinking it over or contemplation. Now after that, there is a very useful uh, third part which unfortunately you cannot do yourself. You need a couple of your friends um, who, with whom you have got to discuss and your friends may challenge your understanding and you may challenge the understanding of your uh, friend on the same theme, on the same principle and because it is challenged, you may get new insights and you may begin to understand things which you did not understand prior to your friends challenging you. Therefore, the third part of the process is discussion. It is talking together, discussing together, thinking together, and not you alone, but a couple of other people, so that uh, you get a well-rounded uh, picture and the understanding you had prior to that uh, becomes more wholesome and becomes well-rounded. So that's the third part of the process. And after that, there is a fourth part where that understanding, uh, which is very important uh, before you go into meditation, uh, now you've got to enter into um, a meditative understanding and uh, we will go into that. It's uh, uh, I'm probably presenting it 
much before something else. But just remember uh, that there is a fourth part in the process and that is called Dhyana or Nididhyasana or meditation. And it is meditation on the principle that has been given to you. And you are not supposed to meditate on something else hmm, by the wandering mind. The wandering mind should not run away to some other thing and do some uh, wool gathering, but it should stay riveted on the given sutra and it should meditate on that. And then I assure you that there will be more uh, blossoms of understanding sprouting from that ground of meditation. So the process uh, has got uh, four parts, listening attentively, then thinking it over, second part, then discussing with your friends, third part, and four, meditating on it, which is the deeper part of understanding, which will be revealed. Uh, the, the blossoms of that uh, meditation will come uh, only in silence. So you've got to do that alone, not with friends. Mm? So that is the four part process. And after that, uh, the way the uh, online course is uh, structured, uh, think of uh, a railway track. Hmm? Uh, our railway track has got a pair of rails. It's got uh, um, one uh, track running on the left, one track running on the right, and the train moves on both the tracks. Uh, now, the left one uh, is uh, the whole process which I described, the Amanaska Yoga uh, process involving the four parts. And the right part uh, pertains to the fourth part which I mentioned, namely meditative understanding or put simply meditation on the sutra or the principle. Now, that's more easily again said than uh, completed in a very diligent way. So, uh, we will go into it more deeply as we go along. So, we'll have to uh, share a little bit more. And uh, therefore, what we do is we start with the left track and then... Uh, we jump or we swing to the right track and we meditate. And after we complete that meditation, we again jump to the left track and we come to exposure to the principle, the principle from the teaching, dwell on it, discuss it and so on. Then after that, again, jump to the right part of the track, which is meditation. And therefore, you can say uh, that uh, the whole road uh, consists of uh, two parallel pathways. Uh, one is Jnana Yoga, the left side, which is the process of understanding. And the right is Dhyana Yoga, which is one of meditation. So you can also think of them as plated together, as braided together, as spliced together, like two cables spliced together, uh, uh, interwoven together, so that it's a very unified process. The, the understanding and the meditation uh, uh, going like a double helix, the DNA double helix, something like that. Uh, they, 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 they belong together and they move together and uh, they are incomplete if uh, one is taken by itself and the other part is ignored. Hmm? So they constitute some kind of uh, a doublet and we've got to uh, go on that uh, jumping from the left track to the right track and then splicing the whole uh, thing uh, forward. Hmm? So, uh, so much for the uh, Amanaska Yoga uh, process and the intertwining of understanding and meditation uh, as like a double helix. And uh, once that is over, then you will know um, what uh, to expect from the online course, how it is structured, how it will begin to move. It will move on two tracks and the two tracks are married together. Hmm?